Hello my friends, today we're going to discover how to create QR codes in Adobe InDesign. Super quick and easy tutorials. My name is Kate Silver, I'm a graphic designer, shoe designer and top teacher on Skillshare. You must have seen some QR codes in products, posters and now even replacing restaurant menus. Okay, so let's get started. We can head to Adobe InDesign and you can either open an existing file that you're working on, your own flyer or poster, or you can create a new file from scratch. Either way, if you would like to create a new file from scratch, click on new file. And I'll be working on a file size that's this 724 millimeters by 1024 millimeters. I'm actually gonna be working on this pre-prepped file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this QR code because this is what we'll be recreating. We'll just be adding a QR code to this lovely menu. And it's as simple as going to object, generate QR code. And then here you'll have the option between adding a hyperlink to a web, plain text, message, email, business cards, whatever floats your boat really. I'll be choosing web hyperlink and I'll be pasting my Skillshare profile, Kate Silver. Then you'll have the option to click on color and you'll have lots of existing InDesign CMYK RGB colors. Now you might see that I have some more colors and that's because I've pre-saved some colors and I'll show you in a bit how to do that. For now, let's just choose black and click on OK and you'll see this. What you do now is you just click and there we go. Now we obviously want to resize this and there are many ways to do this, but I'll show you my favorite shortcut, which is Control for PCs and Command for Macs and then full stop. So just keep pressing Control or Command full stop simultaneously and it will beautifully become bigger proportionally, which is awesome. And then to align it, avoid the content grabber, which is this. Make sure you're on the selection tool and just click and drag and move it around. Now, if you click and drag and you see the pink line that goes straight to the center of the page, this is what it means. You've aligned the QR code with the center of the page, which is what we want. And if you would like to resize it again, control or command full stop. And again, center it to the center. Cool. Now let's say I would like to change a QR code, um, the color to one that matches the picture here or any picture really that you're working with. Then what we're going to do first is go to the eyedropper tool and we're gonna pick a color. Uh, whoops, just make sure you have everything deselected. So control Z first and go to the selection tool and click away. And then go to the eyedropper tool and click on the pink, let's say, or any color. And then you can double click on that color and add RGB swatch. And this will be added to your swatches. And okay. I'm just going to do this again with another color with the red, let's say. And again, double click and add RGB swatch. And okay. And then I'm going to go to the selection tool and I'm just gonna select my existing QR code. Gonna right click and edit QR code. Super easy. Then click on color and choose from any of the colors we've just selected. So it could be red. Or if you don't like that, you can right click and again, edit QR code and choose another color. And voila. Now I'm going to scroll down and head to the next page because I do believe in repetition to get a skill perfected. So this is a picture that I've actually downloaded from Unsplash, which is a platform that offers high quality, high resolution images for free. So it's super cool. And initially, originally it had a QR code, which I then removed in Adobe Photoshop using the spot healing brush tool. Now, if you would like to learn how to do that, I do offer a complete Adobe Photoshop beginner's course. 
And there's a bunch of exercises to practice that exact skill of removing logos, icons, and stains from images. Click on the link below if you're interested, but if not, no worries. So anyway, we're going to repeat this and we're going to go to Object, Generate QR Code. And again, you can type in whichever link you would like. Click on the color, any color again, and then click on OK. Now I've used the eyedropper tool here before to select that red from the Prêt-à-Manger cup. So it's that same red. You can do the same with your pictures. Click on OK, then again, click. Actually, that's not bad, the size. But again, if you would like to resize it, Command or Control, full stop to make it bigger, and Command or Control, comma to make it smaller, realign it, and there you go. That is my super short and quick tutorial on how to create a QR code. So I hope you like that. And now all that's needed is to print either the flyer, the poster, or to have it actually printed on a product. And then your customers, your potential clients can just hover with their phone over this QR code in picture mode. And then they can click on the link, which will direct them to the website that you want them to be directed to, which is super awesome. So you can use it for menus, products, flyers, whatever floats your boat, whatever you need. Well done, my friends. If you would like to practice these skills with some cool exercises, then click on the link below to head to my Complete Beginners Adobe InDesign course. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for some more Adobe tips and tricks. See you soon.